Hey there, this is Amy Eisenstein. I am so excited that you're here for a sneak peek of power asking. So let's go ahead and dive right in. We're gonna talk in power asking on how to change your mindset about fundraising because deep down inside in lots of us, we think that fundraising is about begging people for money or guilting them into money. And that's really not what good fundraising is about. It certainly isn't what Major Gifts is about. So when you fundraise correctly, you're not taking money from people. They are giving it with joy. And I hope after power asking, you can really internalize that. So think about how your donor feels the next day after you ask for a major gift. Are they feeling regretful, remorseful about the gift? Do they feel like you begged for it or that you guilted them into it? If so, this is not a good thing because they're gonna tell their friends and family that this was a bad experience and they're unhappy about their gift. Instead, we want your donors to feel joyful the day after they made their gift. We want them telling all their friends and family what an amazing experience they had and what an amazing thing that they did and were part of that they were able to make such a difference in the world by giving this money, this gift. And so that's what we're going to start with, changing your mindset about fundraising so that you are asking for major gifts in a way that makes your donors feel joyful afterwards. We're also going to focus on the idea that a face-to-face -face request is 34 more times more successful than email. So that's why we ask in person. This is just one example, but there have been many studies that show that asking for a gift or asking for things in general is more successful, more impactful than email. And that's why we wanna make sure that we get those face-to-face -face meetings. That's another thing we're gonna cover. We're also gonna talk about hurdles that you may face when you're looking to get a meeting. And you've probably heard some of these things before. Your donors may be too busy to meet or they already gave so they don't want to meet, or they're not that interested in your cause or your organization. They may ask, why me? I don't have that much money, so why do you want to meet with me? Or why do we have to meet in person? Can't we just do this over the phone? And so in Power Asking, we're going to talk about all the responses so that, that you can have so that you get over these hurdles and get these donors to meet with you. It's critical for raising major gifts. We're also gonna talk about what, what are you asking for? And you may think that it's money, but it's not money. We are asking for impact. We're asking to find a cure for cancer or to provide education. We're asking to create art or to clean the environment or to feed the hungry or house the homeless or uh, the list goes on and on. We're asking to protect animals. So. We're asking for impact, not money, and we need to be able to articulate that with our donors so that they really understand what they're giving for. Power Asking is also going to talk about how to determine the best ask amount for your individual donors. And this is just one example of something that we're going to cover in Power Asking, and it's my ask formula. And we are going to start out by calculating our ask amount by five times the amount the donor gives annually. And then we'll go up or down based on what they really can give. And so let's pretend you have a $10,000 donor who gives that annually, or you can knock off a zero and you can start with your $1,000 donor and multiply that times five. And so we're going to start thinking about a gift in the range of $50,000 or for our $1,000 donors, $5,000. And then of course, we're gonna go up or down based on what we know about them. So what do they do for a living? What kind of assets do they have? What kind of gifts have they made to other organizations? Are they very generous and philanthropic? How strongly do they feel committed to our organization and our cause? What else is going on in their life that we need to know about? And we're gonna base our ask around all of those things. But this is one way to calculate an ask amount, and we're gonna talk about lots of different ways. And so that's just a quick sneak peek at what we're gonna cover, some of the things we're gonna cover in Power Asking. At the end of each module, we'll have time for questions. You can also submit them to me via Facebook and email. 
Um, and so get your questions ready. Once you take power asking, I want all your questions answered so that you can ask for gifts with confidence. So that's it for our sneak peek. Register today. We're getting started soon. And I look forward to having you in the class.